Hey, welcome back to Frank's Favorite Foods, where I'm always cooking up a good time. This is the channel where I teach you how to make restaurant quality food at home. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the first blue crab feast of the season. Of all of my favorite foods, this may be number one. These crabs are gonna be prepared Maryland style, of course. I'm gonna show you how right now. If you're not a subscriber, you should be. Hit the subscription button and the notifications bell so you don't miss a single episode. The first thing you'll need is a steamer, some sort of pot with a raised bottom so that the crabs aren't sitting directly in the liquid. The steaming liquid I use is one part water, one part white vinegar, and one part beer. The amount of liquid you'll need depends upon the size of your pot. I can't say it often enough, these crabs are steamed, not boiled. Don't let them sit in the water. As you can see, I'm seasoning these crabs pretty generously. And I think I can speak seriously for most blue crab, most Maryland blue crab aficionados when I say we do not season crabs with Old Bay. J.O. and Old Bay are two completely different seasoning blends. I use J.O. exclusively for steaming blue crabs. I use Old Bay when I'm making things like crab dip or crab cakes. After 20 minutes on a rolling boil, it's time to get down. Notice the difference between the underside of the male and the female. The male body has more meat, making it preferable for picking. I'm not saying this is the best way to clean crab, but it's the way that I do it. If you've got a better method, please let me know. I pull on the long tab below the crab called a carapace to help me open the shell. Next, I remove the lungs and the innards, then I break the crab in half. I know that some of you will probably call for the revocation of my Maryland card, but I'm telling you, I do not eat that mustard. Next, I like to break down the segments of the crab. The best part of the crab is this large, delicious lump attached to the back swimmer fin. My favorite crab scenario involves a huge chunk of back fin, some melted butter, and a little bit of Old Bay for dipping. Oh, and hey look, Saucy Santana decided to stop by for some crabs. Hey, Saucy. While the other segments of the crab contain nice lump meat, they do require just a little bit more work. Take your time when you're eating crabs. There's plenty of meat in there if you know what you're doing. Traditionally, the meat in the crab claws is considered to be inferior to the rest of the crab. The claw meat tends to be a little darker, a little more coarse, but also a little bit sweeter, just like me. In my opinion, the claws are highly underrated. To me, it almost tastes even a little bit nuttier than the meat in the body. I think it's just wonderful. Getting at all that claw meat may require a little bit of work, but it's definitely worth it. These early season crabs were even better than we expected. Even with it being this early in the season, these crabs were surprisingly full of meat. And hey, if you got some crabs left over, how about some fresh cream of crab soup or fresh crab cakes? Just click right here, it's easy. And if you're not a subscriber, you should be. Hit the subscription button and the notifications bell so you'll know every time I put out a new video. Thanks for watching. Share my channel with a friend. I'll see you next time.